A simple self-care routine to help you prevent tennis elbow. Share with you from an occupational therapist. First off, let's talk about what the tennis elbow is. We have the muscles on the top of our forearm, which is responsible for lifting our wrist, our fist like that. The wrist extensor muscles. By doing over and over again the repetitive motion from gripping, from carrying object, from reaching, a lot of people would develop inflammation or degeneration happening at the tendon, the proximal tendon of the wrist extensor muscles. And because of that, people would experience pain in the outside of the elbow, which is the typical presentation of the tennis elbow. A very similar condition would happen at the inside of the elbow, which is called the golfer's elbow. But then for the purpose of the video today, I'm gonna show the tips or the routine that's more tailored towards the tennis elbow because it's more common. So the first thing to address for the tennis elbow is the soft tissue release. It's very simple to do. All you need to do is to have lotion. Any kind of lotion would be fine. Use a little bit of the lotion, put it in your hands, and then just simply stroke through the top of your forearm along those wrist extensors. Stroke through the top of your forearm, do that on both sides. You will feel that, especially the top of the forearm part, the actual muscle part, usually it carries away a lot of tension from all the work we do throughout the day. And just by doing the release like that, it helps you to relieve the muscle tension. I would suggest to do 10 repetitions on each side, but then this is very gentle. It's not gonna do any damage, so feel free to do more repetitions. Also, would suggest do this the end of the day after working all day, but then you can always do that more. I would also suggest to do this in first thing in the morning because guess what? When you are sleeping for several hours, you're not moving your arms, and then you might develop stiffness, and that would be a good time to relieve the tension. So like I said, at least 10 repetitions on each side, that's the first thing, the soft tissue release. The second thing I'm gonna show you guys is a very simple stretch for the wrist extensors. So what you need to do is just to make a fist, and then get the other hand ready, and then you bend your wrist down to elongate the wrist extensor muscles, and straighten your elbow at the same time. Come back in, bend your wrist down, straighten your elbow, don't hold for too long, maybe 5 seconds at most, and come back in. You want it repetitive so that you have better circulation into that area. Remember this is a prevention program, so you just want to facilitate healing, facilitate circulation, so that you won't, no damage would happen to the muscles, to the tendons. It's a prevention program. Like I said, at least 10 repetitions on each side. But then you can always do more because it's very gentle, it's not gonna hurt. You can do more. But then make sure each repetition you are only holding for at most 5 seconds. Now you can relax. That's the second thing to do in this routine. The third thing to do, I would encourage you guys to find an elastic band like what I got here. You might need to step onto it at one end to get it stabilized and fixed. What we're gonna do is we wrap the band around our hand. You simply just let the band to pull your hand down while you control the motion. Now you see how slow my hand is moving. And then you use the other hand to bring your fist back up. Slowly control. This is a very, very gentle exercise. It's not strengthening, challenging the muscles to a fatiguing level, no. It's an exercise to make the tendon stronger and healthier. You only do the lowering part. Control the lowering. Use the other hand to assist coming up. Control the lowering, which is called the eccentric exercise in the therapy world, which helps with the health of the tendon and even the muscles. 
Like I said, because it's very gentle, so 10 repetitions on each side, but feel free to do more. But sometimes, some people, they might already have some overuse happening. If you are already feeling fatigued, weak, juddering, stop at wherever you are at. Don't push through beyond pain or anything with this specific exercise. But in general, 10 repetitions on each side. And definitely do that after the stretch and after the soft tissue release we talked about earlier. So that's that. And these are the three simple things of a self-care routine you can do to help you prevent tennis elbow. I'm Andy Zen, physical therapist, occupational therapist, as well as a Pilates instructor practicing in Austin, Texas. If you find this video valuable, please give us a thumb up or subscribe to our channel. We would like to create even more content tailored towards your needs, your questions. That's all I got for today. I hope you guys have a great day.